Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be unboxing this month's Ipsy Glam Bag. If you're new here, please subscribe. I upload three times a week, so you'll be getting tons of content every week from me. And um, also give this a thumbs up if you guys really like beauty subscription unboxings because I like them. I mean, I'm constantly like excited to see what I get each month. I love that surprise aspect. So I'm actually going to try on most of these products that I got from this month. So I have my eye makeup done, but nothing else done on my face. And um, yeah, let's get started and see what's in this month's bag. So uh, this bag has this cute little movie ticket theme. I love this. This is really unique and I always love bags that have that, I don't know what it's called, like silicone-y feel because they're easy to clean especially when you put makeup in them. Y'all know how that goes if your makeup bags get a little dirty. And on the little insert card this month is Gabriel Zamora and another girl that I don't recognize. Maybe she's a new Ipsy stylist. And the theme is Sideshow. Okay, so the first product that they have given is this cute little, uh, it's a vitamin C serum, which I love those serums. And it's called Mint Pear See Your Youth. So of course, you know what, I gotta try this on and see how it performs. I did a sheet mask before I did this video, so my skin's already moisturized. But of course, adding a little bit of some serum ain't gonna hurt. Okay, so a ton, a ton came out actually. Um, but it doesn't really smell like anything, which I like because if you have sensitive skin, fragrances really mess with your skin and can irritate them. And it feels super, super light. I like that. So these next items are more like makeup based instead of skincare. So I'm gonna scoot you guys a little bit closer and then we can see what the makeup looks like. So this next one right here, this is a primer. It's called No Pore Blem Primer by Touch In Soul. I've never heard of this brand before, but obviously this is a primer for your pores. So I'm gonna put that around my cheek area and also sometimes I get pores around here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put another one of my regular primers on the rest of my face. Ooh, first I thought it was liquidy, but it's more like a gel. Oh, this is really cool, I like it. So something interesting about this little primer is that a lot of those pore filling ones come out and they're like, they're just kind of dry feeling. This is like gel-like and it just goes on really smooth, doesn't change the color of your skin when it goes on, which I like it because some of those primers be having me look real, real ashy. The next item up in the bag is this cute, cute, cute Lisa Frank brush. I don't know if when you were little you were into Lisa Frank, but I, totally was. And there were so many little girls in my class that had like all the little Lisa Frank stickers, you know, with um, on their binders and stuff. So this is very, very nostalgic for me. I'm going to use this uh, blush brush. It's actually a contoured brush, so you could use it for bronzer, highlighter, you know, it's got a multi-use thing going on. I'm gonna use this with my Shea Moisture Blush. All right, so after using it, I really like the brush just for like, you know, aesthetics and just, it's so cute. But I'm not sure that this actually picked up like a lot of product. Usually this blush is really pigmented and it just picked up just a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe this might be nice for like a natural highlight, you know? If you wanna put a little bit on, but you don't wanna to get too crazy, then this might be the brush for you. Then, they also sent this cute little sample size of the Betty Luminizer, and when you open it up, it's just this really adorable, small little trial size. My only thing that I'm thinking is like, when I go to pick up highlighter, you know, just having this tiny little size might not be enough to like, dip my brush in properly, 
I don't know if I'm just imagining it, but let me try it out and see if that's true. So this is the highlight brush that I have, and I'm gonna try and dip this in. Okay, it's not too bad. Dust off some excess. Ooh. Actually, I do like it. Bling. I mean, this is like a fierce, fierce highlighter. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take a blending brush and get the center of my nose. And a last step is this eyeliner. I really love the packaging. It's like smooth and sleek. Almost has that NARS packaging kind of look, if you feel me. And this is from Jessie's Girl. Now, it's a very pointed tip, kind of like a felt tip marker kind of eyeliner. So I'm gonna bring you guys just a little bit closer and then swatch this on my hand because you guys know with these types of eyeliners, it's all about consistency. When you swatch it on your hand or your eye, does it come out with a lot of color and will it be good for creating a precise wing? Okay, so this is my hand right here. This is the marker. It says to shake well before each use. And let's see. Ooh, I mean, it looks pretty good to me, pretty freaking dark. Now, the only thing is I really wish that I didn't do my eye makeup before because I really would have liked to bring you guys in and do um, a nice like eyeliner test. But you know what, I'm gonna use this in my next video because I'm very confident in it. You know, it does come out like, look at this, look at this. Really nice, solid color, it's not streaky. Um, the color is just super strong and I love that it's fully, fully, fully black. That's what kind of color I need in my life. Okay guys, so that's it for this month's Ipsy bag. I really liked this bag. Comment down below, in the comments of course, which one was your favorite and which one you would be willing to actually go out and purchase. And if you guys do get Ipsy, please tell me what you got in your bag this month. I'm totally curious. So I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, I do upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so you wanna make sure that you got those notifications so you can come on back for the next video. All right, I will see you guys, bye.